This question is from Sandy. Colette, I absolutely love your podcast. Thank you. And have a question about your conversation with Kyle Gray. You both spoke about your meditation practice, your chatterbox mind, and Kyle mentioned he uses a mantra meditation. Kyle mentioned a couple of mantras, and I'm wondering, do you ever use mantras in your meditation practice? What do you do to calm down your chatterbox mind or monkey mind? So I have a quite a few ways in which I work in a meditation practice to calm that chatterbox of mine. Um, one of them is to count. Um, so I tend, if, if I can't sit still or if I get very squirrely um, when I'm trying to meditate, what I do is I count and name what I see in my room. And I find that completely disconnects me from the over-analytical mind. I just say lamp, carpet, dog, dog, dog. <laughs> Usually there are three, you know, white chair. I'll start naming them and I'll say it out loud. And all of a sudden I'll get super calm because I find that really brings me back into myself and it just calms the mind down. The other um, thing that I do, I do have a mantra that I just say, I am safe. I am safe. I am safe. That, that's one I do. And another one is thy will be done through me. Thy will be done through me. Thy will be done through me. So those are mantras that I say that are quite personal. Um, and last but not least, I have a meditation practice that I actually have recorded, which is my chatterbox exercise. I teach it in my school at Oracle School. And it really is a, a way in which I can visually see my thoughts running around with sometimes with protest signs <laughs> or whatever they, they manifest for me or they're like little gumbies running around on a beach or little crabs. And then I basically tell them that it's time to go back in the box <laughs> and, and they do. <laughs> so I march them all out, let them run, run havoc around my internal beach and then I say it's time to go back in your box. And so they line up and they get in there and I close it off and I can feel the difference. So there's lots of creative ways that I work with um, to calm the mind. But I think that if you're going to adopt any, the quick one is to name what's in your room out loud um, and also to have a statement that you say, and I love thy will be done through me, which is the easiest and the one that makes me feel the best. Okay, if you like this podcast and you want to see more, just click over here and you'll get to see more clips from this interview. If you just want to listen, well, if you click there, you'll listen to the entire interview available to you on any one of your favorite podcast channels.